Hello everyone and welcome to another guided tutorial from IPFIX. In this video I'm gonna show you how we're gonna update the DLS200 to the newest files where it's working with the iPhone 6 to 12 Pro Max. We did a previous video on how to update with the old files but this is the newest version of the files and also we are sharing the, the newest files. You can find the link down in the description. The latest files is uh, the, first, the, the first month of 22. So let's get to it. This video is relevant for the old Testbox S200 and the new version of the S200. They are now called iTestbox the first version and iTest box 12 that's the second version the files are the same for both versions that's not how it was before the at, be, at the beginning the files were separate for each model but now these files that i'm sharing is capable of being used of both models for this we're gonna of course use the device itself we're gonna use a flash drive at, um, and this flash drive, it needs to be um, under a 100 gigabyte. Um, then we're gonna use a screen for testing. And for the 12 series, you cannot only use the boards. For the 12 series, you need a middle board. This middle board connects to the main board and then each model connects to the middle board. But let's get to the updating. You take your flash drive and you put it in your Mac computer. And this is very important because the company itself that sells the device, they tell you you need to use a PC running Windows. But I tested this like 100 times and I know a lot of people who has issues updating it. And what I found is that I cannot make a bootable device on a PC, but when I use my Mac computer, it works every time. You connect the USB drive for the Mac computer, then you open uh, disk utilities, and then you see your, your external drives here. This is a very important step because this is when how we're gonna format the drive, and this is where a lot of people are failing hit uh, delete the name is not important we call it i test i test box and this is the most important step the format you need to choose ms dos fat and on this one you need to to use master boot record and i would say that this is the the point where uh, most people fail because they use another one than master boot record then you hit delete. And then the formatting of the disk is done. Then we go to our files. We go to the device itself. Now let me show you. This is the new files. This is the hard, uh, the, the, the flash drive. Do not copy the folder onto the, the flash drive. You need to take all the files and copy them. You could take note of it needs to be 72.5 megabyte. And then we got the files to the USB flash drive. We hit eject. And now we're ready to update the device. Make sure that it's turned off. It, 
I cannot have any light up here turned on. Take your flash drive, plug it in, and then you hold the power button and the bright, brightest button at the same time. Then the update lamp is flashing. To ensure that we're not running out of power while we're updating, I uh, suggest that you plug in the, the charging cable for the device. And do not push any buttons. Two thousand years later. And then the update finished and we can turn off the device. Take out the USB. Connect. Install the middle board. And what is different from this update and the first update for the 12 series is that this update is very stable um, when testing. We have a hard OLED that we're going to test. As I mentioned before, uh, this this update is actually quite stable and reliable for screen testing. The device is now capable of testing from iPhone 6 to iPhone 12 Pro Max. That's all I want to show you. Remember that uh, the files, I put a link down in the description and you can download them. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more interesting videos about updating spare parts and other tech things that we are discovering here at IPFix. Thank you. Bye.